What is osteoporosis? Probably one of the easiest ways to define osteoporosis is having bone that is so thin that it's easily broken without any trauma at all. And one of the scary parts is there are no symptoms. The first symptom could be bone pain from a fracture, and it could be because you've fallen, or it could be you were just walking and one of your vertebral bodies or backbones has broken. And that's why it is a silent disease. Who's at risk, and how is it diagnosed? Well, many times people get an x-ray for another reason, a chest x-ray or a back x-ray, and we see very thin bone on the x-ray. And you can have lost up to 20% of your bone when you start to see it on an x-ray. But really the gold standard for making the diagnosis is a bone mineral density scan, or a DEXA scan. And it measures exactly how much bone you've lost when compared to peak bone mass of a 20-something year old. And there's a numerical definition if you've lost more than two and a half standard deviations below normal, that's osteoporosis. What are the treatment options? Well, some of the basic things that you need, that you can do even without a doctor, is to make sure that you get enough calcium and vitamin D. And sometimes you may need to get a vitamin D level to find out if you're actually deficient in vitamin D. And then you may have to take vitamin D supplementation. But if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, there are many medications out there that can treat it, actually reverse it, and increase your bone mineral density. There are hormone therapies, there are non-hormone therapies of the bisphosphonates that come in pill form and IV form. There are many new medications that are out on the market that help people that can't take these other medications for whatever reasons. There are so many options out there to, to treat osteoporosis. There's no reason why someone with osteoporosis cannot get help right now.